เราฮัลโหลวอนดีบเนงดีบเนง How are you today I'm happy Oh you're happy Finish eating your dinner now Yes Oh what did you eat for yes. tonight I eat meat and rice Meat and rice. Okay, who cooked your food? Me. Your mom. Yes. Okay. Okay. So well, h u o n g Um, for tonight, we're going to have some activities to do. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, well. Um, last time that was Saturday. Suddenly, our electricity went off. That's why I was off. Okay. All right. But but before you, I had the class already. I have two classes already before you. Then suddenly the electricity was cut. And that's why teacher was not able to attend the class on Saturday. But now the weather is fine. So I think it will be fine also with the electricity. Okay, let's start now. Hong Wong. Okay. 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 All right, now Huang. The first part is listening. Oh, wait a minute. The first part is listening activity. So all you have to do is listen and draw a line on your answer. Okay. 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 Part one. Okay. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen. And look, there is one example. Can you see Jim? Is he in the water? No, he isn't. He's sitting down. Is that him, with the yellow towel on his shoulders? Yes, that's him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen. And draw lines. One. Who's the man in the white T-shirt? The one who's standing under the clock. Yes. He's a swimming teacher. What's his name? Do you know? That's Peter. Two. I'm looking for Sue now. Can you see her? No, I can't. Oh yes, I can. She's standing on her hands under the water. Where? How can you see that? Look, you can only see her legs and feet. Oh yes! Oh, <laughs> I can see her. Three. Those two boys are enjoying their game. Yes, I know the bigger one. His name's John. Is he the one with the ball in his hands now? He the one. Yes, that's right. Four. <coughs> Where's Pat? Is she here? Yes, I saw her in the water. There she is. She's swimming. Where? She's wearing a pink swimming hat. Oh yes. She can swim very well. Five. Does Ben work here? Yes, he's here now. I can see him. In the water? No, he's walking next to the pool. In a blue T-shirt and blue trousers? Yes. Now listen to part one again. Okay, are you finished? No. 
One. I know. One more time. Who's the man in the white T-shirt? The one who's standing under the clock. Yes. He's a swimming teacher. What's his name? Do you know? That's Peter. Two. I'm looking for Sue now. Can you see her? No, I can't. Oh yes, I can. She's standing on her hands under the water. Where? How can you see that? Look, you can only see her legs and feet. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> I can see her. Three. Those two boys are enjoying their game. Yes, I know the bigger one. His name's John. Is he the one with the ball in his hands now? Yes, that's right. Four. Where's Pat? Is she here? Yes, I saw her in the water. There she is. She's swimming. Where? She's wearing a pink swimming hat. Oh yes. She can swim very well. Five. Does Ben work here? Yes, he's here now. I can see him. In the water? No, he's walking next to the pool. In a blue t-shirt and blue trousers? Yes. Okay, are you finished? That is the end of part one. Again, again, again. What is it? I can hear a name. You can hear a name? Yes. What number? Um, two, um, two, three. Number five. Okay, the last one. Okay, I will let you play it one more time, okay? Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see Jim? Is he in the water? No, he isn't. He's sitting down. Is that him with the yellow towel on his shoulders? Yes, that's him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's the man in the white t-shirt? The one who's standing under the clock? Yes. He's a swimming teacher. What's his name? Do you know? That's Peter. Two. I'm looking for Sue now. Can you see her? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. She's standing on her hands under the water. Where? How can you see that? Look, you can only see her legs and feet. Oh, yes. Oh, I can see her. Three. Those two boys are enjoying their game. Yes, I know the bigger one. His name's John. Is he the one with the ball in his hands now? Yes, that's right. Four. Where's Pat? Is she here? Yes, I saw her in the water. There she is. She's swimming. Where? She's wearing a pink swimming hat. Oh, yes. She can swim very well. Five. Does Ben work here? Yes. He's here now. I can see him. In the water? No. He's walking next to the pool. In a blue t-shirt and blue trousers? Yes. Now listen to part one again. Okay. One. Okay. 
So now let's check if you got the correct answer. So don't erase it. All right, number one. Um, Wong, can you read it, please? He told in the main white shirt and the clock. Okay, that's correct. Two. So in the light stick, pick out of the water. Yes, how about number three? John in the bar with the ball in the hand. Okay, four. And the woman playing swimming hat. Okay, last one. Um Ben in the blue t shirt and blue trouser. Okay, that is also correct. Okay, very good, uh, Huang. So you got a total of five points. Five points. Yes, five points. Okay, next one, Huang. All right, this is part number two. Listen and write. There is one example. Okay, now here, Huang, all you have to do is to listen and write your answer on the blank, okay? okay. So you will hear it two times again before you can write your answer on your or on the blank. Is that okay, Huang? Okay. Yes. Okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? Shall I help you? Yes, please. I want to take these things out of the library. Right. Which class are you in? Seven. Well, write seven here. Look. Okay. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Now, what's your name? Daisy Spear. How do you spell that? It's S-P-E-A-R. Right. <laughs> Two. Now... Which book have you got? This one. Its name is My Plants. Okay. Then we write My Ants here. Um, not ants. Plants. Oh, yes. Sorry. Three. Have you got a video there? Yes. Is there a name on the box? It's a sports video. It says tennis on the box. Okay, put tennis here. Can you play well? No, not very well. I want to play better. Four. Have you got a CD player at home? You can take a CD. I'd like to take this one. Is that okay? Yes. It says music on the outside. Shall I write that? What kind of music is it? Film music. I see. I write film music here. I don't know what Five. film music. Okay, How later, later. How many days later. do you need them all for? Can I have them for one week? Yes, that's fine. So, can you write one week at the bottom there, please? Oh, yes. I see. Good. Now you can take all your things. Enjoy them. Now listen to okay. part two again. 
How? What is it? What are you saying, Juan? You don't know? What, what you don't know? I don't know number two and three. Okay, why? What, what is your answer in number three? Did you hear it? No. Okay, you want to listen one more time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? Shall I help you? Yes, please. I want to take these things out of the library. Right. Which class are you in? Seven. Well, write seven here. Look. Okay. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Now, what's your name? Daisy Spear. How do you spell that? It's S-P-E-A-R. Right. Two. Now, which book have you got? This one. Its name is My Plants. Okay. Then we write my ants here. Um, not ants. Plants. Oh, yes. Sorry. Three. Have you got a video there? <coughs> yes. Is there a name on the box? It's a sports video. It says tennis on the box. Okay, put tennis here. Can you play well? No, not very well. I want to play better. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, again, again, what is it? You Four. don't know? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Have you got a CD player at home? You can take a CD. I'd like to take this one. Is that okay? Yes. It says music on the outside. Shall I write that? What kind of music is it? Film music. I see. I write film music here. Five. Oh, oh, one more. How many days do you need them all for? Can I have them for one week? Yes, that's fine. So, can you write one week at the bottom there, please? Oh, yes. I see. Good. Now you can take all your things. Enjoy them. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. So, number... Now listen to part two again. Okay, so the... this is about Park School Library. Okay, the class is seven. The name is Daisy Spear. Okay. How about number two? What's your answer? My plant. Is it My plant. Or plant is correct. How about number three? Video. Um, spot. Spot. Sports. Oh, it's tennis. I have about number four. CD is T A S R. What is your answer? CD. CDs is. Yes. What's your answer? Number four, CD is? Yes. Um. Oh, there's insect. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what's your answer? CD is? Yes. Um. 
Okay, CD is film. Okay, last one, number five. You can have these for one week. Okay, that's correct. Okay, spear, plant, and week. Okay, so therefore, you have three points here, Huang. Our next one. Okay, this is part number three. So what did Paul do last week? Listen and draw a line from the day. To the correct picture, there's one example. Okay, in this one, Huang, you have to listen again. And then you have to draw a line on your answer, okay? Okay. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Bill do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Aunt Jane. Hello, Bill. I saw you in the pet shop on Wednesday. Oh, we were there because Mum wanted to get a cat for us. Did you find one? Yes. We've got a beautiful black and white cat at home now. Wow! Can you see the line from the word Wednesday? On Wednesday, Bill and his mother bought a cat. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. On Friday, my best friend came to sleep at our house. Did he? Did he sleep in your bedroom? Yes. He had my bed and I slept on the floor. Did you sleep well? No. We played games for most of the night. <laughs> Two. I can hear it. I had a good day on Saturday. You can't hear it? Okay, yes. one one more time. But but you can hear me? Can you hear teacher? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh Part three. Can you hear it now? Look at the pictures. What did Bill do last yes. week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Aunt Jane. Hello, Bill. I saw you in the pet shop on Wednesday. Oh, we were there because Mum wanted to get a cat for us. Did you find one? Yes. We've got a beautiful black and white cat at home now. Wow! Can you see the line from the word Wednesday? On Wednesday, Bill and his mother bought a cat. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. On Friday, my best friend came to sleep at our house. Did he? Did he sleep in your bedroom? Yes. He had my bed and I slept on the floor. Did you sleep well? No. We played games for most of the night. <laughs> Two. And I had a good day on Saturday. Oh? What did you do? I went with my school to the zoo. Great! What did you like best? All the big cats, like the lions and tigers. Three. Did your friend come again on Tuesday, Bill? On Tuesday? No. I had a temperature and a headache. Oh, dear. Yes. I was in bed all day. What do you have there? Four. Dad painted my bedroom last week. Oh. When did he do that? On Monday. He did three walls and I did one. Well done. Yes. It's great now. It's all purple. Five. What did you do on Sunday, Bill? I don't know, but Thursday was a good day. What did you do on Thursday? I did a painting of a lion. I enjoy painting a lot. Me too.
And Mum put it on the wall. I love it. <coughs> now listen to part three again. Okay. One. One, on two, Friday, three, four. Okay, one more. Came to sleep at our house. Did he? Did he? Okay, you're finished. So let's see. Tuesday. This is Tuesday. Next one is, this is Saturday, correct? Friday, correct? Thursday, correct? And Monday is also correct. Okay, very good, um, Huang. So therefore, you have, this is one, two, three, four, and uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, four points. This is four points. Okay, next one, Huang. Part number four, listen and tick the box. There is one example. Okay, so here, um, Huang, you, you're going to listen again and tick the box of the correct letter of your answer, okay? Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What does Nick want? That pasta was very good. Thank you. Now, what can I give you, Nick? I've got fruit or ice cream. I'd like some fruit, please. Here you are. Would you like a cup of coffee with it? Uh, thank you, but I can't drink coffee. It gives me a headache. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which animal is Tom's favorite pet? I like all my pets a lot. I know, Tom. I like the snake. It's very beautiful. Which one is your favorite? I like my big black spider best. Hmm. Well, don't take him out of the box, please. Okay. Would you like to see my mouse? Yes, please. I like mice. Two. Which girl is Fred's cousin? Hello, Fred. Is your mother here in the park? No. I'm here with my cousin. But I can't find her now. Is that her? In the blue dress? No. She's got straight black hair. It isn't curly like mine. What's she wearing? A yellow shirt and trousers. Okay, did you hear number two? All right, so number one, which animal is Tom's favorite pet? Letter B, that is spider, correct? Two, which girl is Fred's cousin? Letter C is also correct. Okay, next one, Wong, number three. Three, what's Kim doing? Where's Kim? Is she in the kitchen cooking the supper? No, she's in the bathroom washing her hair. Why? There's a film about dolphins on the TV. She wanted to watch it. Right. Four. What can Paul have for his game? Can I have this old map for my game? No, but you can play with that old camera. Oh, yes. Thank you. And can I have that box? I'm sorry, Paul. I need it. Five. What does Sally always do on Monday evening? I don't like Monday mornings. We have hockey. But I like the evenings. We always go to the supermarket. Do you like that? I don't. I like Tuesday evenings better. What do you do then, Bill? We go swimming.
Okay, what's your answer? Number five. Oh, I can buy. Oh, what's number five? Did you did you hear it? B. B. Okay, let's see number three. What's Kim doing? Letter A, number four, what can Paul have for his game? Letter C and number five, what does Sally always do on Monday evening? It's letter B. Okay, good job, Wong. So you got the perfect score here of five points. Okay. Okay. So next one, wait a minute. Okay, now let's proceed to part number five, Wong. So listen and color and draw. In this activity, Wong, you must follow the instruction. You listen to the audio file and follow the color that you, you will hear, okay? Okay. What a minute. Okay, okay. Can I go to that? All right. Okay. 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 Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Anne. Look at this picture. Would you like to live here? No, because it isn't our world. But I like looking at it. Shall we colour it? OK. Can I colour the monster with four arms? Yes. Colour the monster with four arms green. Can you see the green monster? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. I can see two robots in this picture. That's right. Now, I want you to colour the square one. OK. What colour? Colour the square robot red. <coughs> colour the square robot red. Two. 
Now I want you to draw something. Is it difficult? No, but listen carefully. Can you see a cloud? I can see two of them. Good. Find the one which is above the flowers and draw some rain under that cloud. I understand. It's raining on the flowers. Three. Now look at the stars. I can see the some stars and two different moons. That's right. Find the round moon which is between two stars. Can I colour the round one blue? Yes, that's a good colour for it. Colour the round moon blue. Four. I like the planes. Can I colour one of them? OK. Which one do you want to colour? I'd like to colour the one that's flying. Right. Colour the plane that's flying yellow. Colour the plane that's flying yellow. Five. There are trees in this world. Can you see them? Yes, I can see them. But they are not like the ones in our world. Well, I want you to colour the tallest tree in the picture. <coughs> OK. I'm colouring the tallest one. I'm colouring it pink. Very good. I like that. I like that pink. OK, you can use purple. I don't have purple. Um, green. Now listen to part five again. One. I can see two robots in this picture. That's right. Okay. Now, I want you to colour the square one. Okay, let's see. All right, can you read number one, Huang? Hello, the square robot red. Okay, that's correct. Next. Draw rain under a cloud above the flower. Okay, there's a rain. Hello, the row moon between two stars below. Okay, that's correct. Next one. Hello, the plane flying in the sky yellow. Okay, last one. Hello, the toad tree pink. Okay, so you must color it green because you don't have pink. Okay, very good, Huang. So now you got the perfect score of five points. Okay, so this is the correct answer. All right, now, Huang, for your homework, Huang is, um, all right, wait a minute. Let me think of a very good example of homework. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, for your homework, Huang, I want you to draw a thing that you want to do one day, okay? Draw something that you want to do one day. So do you remember okay. Do you remember our lesson last time? One day I will sail yeah. a boat. One day I will make friends with an alien. One day I will climb mountains, okay? All right, so that okay. will be your homework, okay? So draw a picture. Of the thing that you want to do one day. Okay, Akiko? Ahuang? Okay. All right. That will be all for tonight, Wong. Chuk, Wong.